Hey guys, welcome back. This is uh, this is not the video I wanted to make after the 20th anniversary of Resident Evil 2, but it is the video that I have to make. So uh, let's let's get right into that. Um, I don't need to tell you guys the Capcom really fucked up with uh, with not giving us a single damn thing again. Um, I know the anniversary in Japan is on the 29th, which is this upcoming Monday. So there's a small hope there. Um, it's a small hope, but also keep in mind that they've got Monster Hunter coming out on Friday. And, you know, once that game comes out, they really, they really have no reason to stay silent. I also think that uh, an announcement is still imminent. And the reason I, I feel that way is because of the uh, the social media little things. Not the, not the tweets with the dummy finger, not that. That was a total royal fuck-up, okay? I'll, I'll get to that later. But the uh, the logo change and the, and the little blank spot for a, an upcoming game next to the, uh, the three recent Resident Evil titles they just released. That, to me, says more than anything else that we're going to hear something soon. I don't know how soon. Um, but that, that right there is what's telling me that it's not far off at the very least. Um, now you might be thinking, well, if not on the 20th anniversary, well then, then fucking when E3 and I, I fucking hope it's not E3. I really hope that's not when we'll hear something, but you just, you never fucking know. Um, I also found out that day, Sunday, on the 21st, uh, about the 4chan leaks. That very day, I, you know, unsatisfied with the total silence we got, I did some digging around, found out about the 4chan link, leaks, uh, and read, read up on all of them. And if you guys want, I'll, I'll go through, I can make a separate video, uh, telling you what I think about the leaks and what they're saying and if if they're true kind of go by and say what I like and don't like I can I can do that at, on, in another video I'll do that if you guys want let me know but um, I am somewhat inclined to believe the leaks and and here's why sometimes when you work for a big company um, you have to do things or or in this case not do things that uh, they kind of bother you. Um, you have to tell the company line, though, because, you know, you're an employee and you would like to continue with that employment. And um, and I don't think that every employee at Capcom likes that they're not giving us anything on, on the Resident Evil 2 remake. I think there are many Capcom employees that want nothing more than to just spill their guts. And because they have their jobs and their families to consider... They'll either continue to stay silent or they'll leak information. And um, these are not the first leaks we've gotten from Capcom. Uh, these are not even, you know, the first leaks we've gotten on any game. We've gotten, we got some leaks about the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite uh, roster and some of those new additions, and those proved to be largely true. Um, a lot of the... Uh, stuff about Resident Evil 7 that was leaked a lot of that turned out to be true I think um, yeah I mean I've worked for two major retail companies in my life and you know I had to toe the line I I did my best for the customers I went above and beyond but there were there was only so much I was allowed to do and you know that always bothered me and it's it's the same for every company it's the same for for game companies I think I think uh, you know you could you could see this with um, with Dice and EA. I mean, I'm sure the guys at Dice aren't all about the fucking microtransactions. I'm pretty sure that was an EA decision, and you know, most of the guys being on Dice, being gamers themselves, I'm pretty sure most of them aren't cool with it. But you know, they have to do it. So, yeah, I, I think um, it's a mistake to label Capcom as as the enemy outright when you when I'm pretty sure there are probably some employees that agree with us. They do want us to know. Um, the other reason I'm inclined to believe the leaks is um, because according to those leaks, 
they they did try um, fixed camera angles and and even first person, and they didn't work out for some reason. And so, according to these leaks, take this with a grain of salt, of course, they're going to be over the shoulder, third person. And now, why why is that? You know, why do what does that make me think that they're probably true? Because how long did this take? You know, how long did this development take? I mean, we, we know uh, with the original Resident Evil 2, you know, it, it was two years after the first Resident Evil, and one of those years was almost completely wasted because, uh, you know, Shinji Mikami checked it out, thought it was boring as fuck, and made them, you know, go back to the drawing board. And that unfinished version we now know as Resident Evil 1.5, you know, the rest is history. It, how long did it take? It's been three years since the announcement, at least, of the remake of Resident Evil 2, and I, I gotta believe they probably tried a couple things. They, they probably tried to do the fixed camera angle thing, and, and it wasn't working out, and I think um, if they had said something back then and said, yeah, you guys are gonna love it, it's gonna be fixed camera angles, it's gonna be all that, and then a decision was made later, which apparently it was, to try something different, I mean, it, it would just upset fans. It would it would upset a lot of us. We would hear about that, and we would be like, fucking Capcom micromanaging the development team? What the fuck, Capcom? And we wouldn't have been happy with that. And, uh, and that's what... I think that's the primary reason we haven't heard much, is because they had to try, you know, tentative things. It's, it's also supported by, uh, you know, Hideki Kamiya coming out and saying on that day, thankfully, um, that he told his friend who's directing the game. Quote, unquote, do as you like. Now, to me, that says that the director was probably talking to him because he was saying, look, man, we, we want to do it like you did it. We want it to be fixed camera angles. It, it's not working out right now. With the few things we've tried, it, it just works best in the third person over the shoulder. But I, I really want to get your blessing on it because you're the guy who made the masterpiece. And if I fuck this up, I mean, I, I won't be able to live it down. I mean, what, what do you think I should do? And to which I think, you know, Hideki Kami was like, look, man, I trust you. You know what you're doing? Go for it. And and that all, you know, kind of lines up with, with the time frame and, and, and how long it's, it's taken to get any news. But again, in that time... You know that there are some employees at Capcom who see what we're talking about and seeing the outrage and seeing just the anxiety, like, is it going to be canceled? What's going on? Is it vaporware? You know, tell us something. And I think they're afraid. I think they're afraid to, uh, to let us down, but I also think that uh, they don't like having to toe the company line of total silence, and it, it is also somewhat unusual to have this level of silence for so long, for such a prolonged period of time. That is that is very uncommon. And uh, So I know Capcom knows how much we're looking forward to this game. However, I don't think they knew just how sensitive we were. Right? Because those tweets, my God, that you, you, do the, you do the font thing with the Resident Evil title, and your social media stuff, and then you, you come out with these tweets with a dummy finger, and from R&D Development Team 1, the, the ones according to the, you know, famous We Do It video with Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, that, that Twitter page, you know, putting out those hints, and then coming out on the day of, and saying, hey, whoa, we didn't mean to disappoint anybody, hey, sorry, we just were putting out our favorite shots of the day, yada, yada, yada. Um, I think they were working on the resume, getting, you know, f footage and, and, and scans of, of the environment here. But I don't think they were supposed to tell us that they were doing that. I, I don't think that was that was their end game. I, I know, it's, it's fucking tone deaf. It, it is dense for them to think that we weren't going to uh, automatically assume, because we've heard fucking nothing. Absolutely nothing. And Resident Evil 7 is, is done. It's in the can. We've got the DLCs for it. You know, we got the Revelations games on the Switch and PS4 and Xbox One. You know, that's done. And what the fuck else were we supposed to think? 
they were hinting at and teasing us with. Now, as far as releasing on the day of the anniversary, hey, sorry, we, it wasn't that at all. Sorry, we didn't want to disappoint you. Um, at first, I was like, what the fuck, guys? Like, you're going to put that on on this day? That's, that's, that's really fucked up. But then when I think about it, would Total Silence have been better? Would it have been better for them to not say anything that day? I think we would have been we would have been just as outraged. You could argue that they should have a few days before the anniversary said, "Hey, it's not, you know, we're not teasing the remake." Sorry. Yeah, that would have been nice, but you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and and we don't know when they started to realize that all this hype and all these comments on the on the page were you know, in anticipation of the remake. We don't know when they realize that. The good news is, I think they know now. <laughs> I think they know now um, how sensitive we are to that shit. Uh, and I don't, uh, I don't anticipate them trying shit like that anymore. I think they're going to stay pretty quiet for a while. I also wonder if when the official announcement comes... Is it going to be R and D team one to uh, to reveal it? Does that make sense? I, I feel like that's probably going to come from either you know Capcom, the official Capcom Twitter or YouTube channel, or the official Resident Evil Twitter or YouTube channel. And you know, I, back when they put out the uh, Resident Evil Ambassador program, I you know I signed up. I'm I'm a Resident Evil Ambassador, and you know as soon as they give me something, I'm going to drop it on all my social media, I got, you know, I'm, I'm Mortanius on Instagram, Prince Mortanius on Twitter, you know, if you want to follow me there, I'll, I'll definitely drop shit if they ever release anything to the Resident Evil ambassadors, but, you know, I, I think it's going to come from the official Capcom or the official Resident Evil page when we finally do hear something, and, yeah, I, I think they, they royally fucked up, they know it now, um, and I don't think they're going to do anything like that again. I think it's important to stay vocal, though, um, in a constructive way. Uh, let me let me stress because, I mean, I've seen a few comments out there, and, and, and I've seen a few videos out there, and you know, just saying like, oh, Capcom doesn't give a shit about the fans. Fuck them. Now get out of here with that shit. That's that's that is not true. Number one, okay. If Capcom didn't care about the fans, we wouldn't be getting. You know, Mega Man 11 and the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, and and we wouldn't be getting the remake either. And it does not, it doesn't help. It's not constructive to be so negative. I mean, and like I said, you know, the Capcom employees, it's not their fault that you know the guys in charge want to stay so fucking silent. You, you, you their hands are tied. And at least some of them are leaking stuff. But again, have you ever have you ever worked for a company and wondered how one of the bosses or maybe the district managers wonder how that guy got his fucking job because he's a total either piece of shit or he's just a complete dumbass? You ever wonder what the hiring process was? You know, if you could if you could throw a football through this tire, you you got the job. It's yours. Everyone knows what that's like. Okay. So, to label an entire company as, as one that doesn't care about the fans is, is a little... It's a little much, alright? Everyone knows what that's like. Not everyone at Capcom is, is just loving this shit, okay? They, they're they upset, too. They, they want to give us something. You know they do. And like I said, the only company that I can definitively say doesn't give a shit about the fans is, is Konami. Okay, you could argue EA, but at least EA wants your money. Okay, Konami doesn't even seem to want your filthy Western money. So there, so there's that. So that's gonna do it for me. If you guys want me to react to the 4chan leaks, uh, let me know. I don't mind making that video. It'll be interesting, and we'll see you guys next time.